What's going on guys? We are down here in the barn this morning. Real quick before we get started on the tractor, we are going to slap this uh, light strip up because I haven't had time to tie into my switch down there and bring another light down here. So we're gonna put a couple screws in and hang that up real quick. Get some of these tools cleaned up because I haven't really started a little project back here on this bench, which is what I built it for yet. So we're gonna get to that real quick and then we'll start working on these hydraulics. Change of plans. So yesterday, me and Kevin were at Harbor Freight and I was going to buy a pick set so that way I could dig all these uh, seals and stuff out. And he was very confident that we had already bought one. But we didn't. Of course. So, so uh, we're not even going to worry about doing anything on this end right now. I am going to write uh, an R and an L on these real quick. Uh, just so that way the glands are going back in the same one. The threads all look really nice, but uh, I've worked with hydraulics before. And it's always good to put the one that it came in. Put it back in where it came out of. So... I know that the one that was tore up was out of the left side, so that makes this one the right, and then this one the left. So now that that's on there, we're going to grab these and we're going to head to that end because that's the only end that I have a vise on right now. Eventually I will bolt one down nice and solid back here. But So we're going to get set up down there and uh, get all these taken apart and then we'll just take them with us. So. So that's going to hold it. We can use the, the eye here as leverage to get this nut off. And then once we get this nut off, then the piston, spacer, and gland will all come off. And then we can uh, get in here and look at everything a lot better. So I'm going to go grab an adjustable right quick or a wrench. Well, my wrenches stop at one inch. I do have an inch and an eighth, but I have yet to buy an actual complete set. But I do have a deep well socket that is inch and sixteenth, so hopefully this will bust it off. It wasn't even that tight. Super, super pleased with how this has come apart for being as old as a tractor as it is. the way it comes off that way we know the order of how they go on super super important that don't even get a seal that's just Torn up stuff for that one. Okay, I thought that these came out of here. I was wondering why these were all loose on my rod, but I was certain that they went in this. This pushed out, and they do. And honestly, these seals look pretty good I know I'm this far along and I already have them out so I could just replace them all but I don't know if I'm going to honestly right now because that other one doesn't show any signs of even needing to be taken apart. 
All this one has is just a little wiper up here. I don't know. We might we might go ahead and do it. That's pretty loose. That's not doing nothing for sure. And now that it's apart, I might as well. So we have all the part. So this is the gland. The gland is always at the top, threads into the barrel. Uh, the only thing my gland has is a wiper. And then we have this, which is a little different. I've seen a couple of these like this before. Uh, Usually they're just kind of like a spacer, but, and I know it's not, it's definitely not broke. This is how it's supposed to be. So, uh, it has the, uh, the regular poly seal, the U seal in here. That's what keeps all the fluid on this side. It doesn't let it go any farther past is this top blue one. And then it, it's layered up with some more there and uh, then an o-ring with a backup on the back side there to keep any oil from going through on this side so this seals between the uh, this and the barrel and this seals the oil from bypassing to go past it then we have this here just the layers of how this is put together uh, with a little spacer then we have our seals that go over top. And they are in layers as well. And this is the main one that is torn up. So this is the most important one. I don't know if they're gonna have anything like this in stock today, unfortunately. Um, I'm just gonna go to a hydraulic place that I used to work and uh, get the seals because I don't have calipers or anything right now uh, to take measurements and go up and sit in front of the computer and uh, you know take all my measurements ODs and IDs and uh, search through to find this seal so I'm gonna go I know they have catalogs maybe I will be able to find it I hope uh, when I first pulled this out, this looked more like a, a wide wear band uh, with a seal in the middle with another wear band, but it's not. It's a kit. It has many layers to it. So we're going to go grab the other one, tear it apart, take a look at it, see how it looks, and then we're going to hit the road. So we really didn't get to make much of a video this morning. Uh, for right now, what you've seen is what we get. Um, I took the rods into where I used to work, and he's going to track me down some seals. Uh, I was going to have to measure it all and just kind of order it uh, piece by piece instead of trying to find a kit for it. I mean, the barrels aren't marked for like a specific cylinder, anything like that. He'll be able to find them, but I know like how I said they were stacked. Those are called V, seal, uh, v seals, and the bottom V... Uh, is, is tall and then it's got a bunch of narrow uh, V's that stack on top of it uh, He did say that them tall ones are a little bit harder to find uh, So but he's gonna get it figured out. Uh, he said if anything, we'll just get a standard V and then uh, buy more of the Middle V's to stack in there on top of to make up the difference in the size But he's gonna get all that lined up and then give me a call when they're done and bring it back So that way I don't have to drive back out there. It's like an hour away uh, And he doesn't live very far. So once it gets all my seals in, then we will do a better video of putting all of them back in and getting the cylinders back in on the tractor. So until next time, we are done. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you guys in the next one.